the best way to go about art journaling is to simply jump in and make some art. You can gesso your page if you like it. You can just put some paint down or you can leave it plain as I've done here. I do like usually to have a bit of texture in some manner but that's different every single time I sit down. Sometimes I'll cut strips from old books and glue that down. Sometimes I will use some kind of texture paste or Mod Podge or maybe take tissue paper and glue that down. There's several techniques that you can provide bumpy or wavy edges, but this is going to be a simple page layout, so I'm not going to worry very much about any kind of texture. Now, I am going to show a very, very brief run-through of a few supplies. I kind of just grab lots of supplies and clutter them all around my book, but I've purchased a few things that I'd like to use, so I'm going to show you. Now I always have very basic things like scissors and glue sticks. Mod Podge is a good one to have. You may have washi tapes. You may have some ink and some different wooden stamps, or you can do the acrylic blocks with the plastic stamps. You'll want to have some scraps if you're going to be gluing from magazines or old books. I've got books that are specifically used for the purpose of journaling. I don't like to destroy old books because I am a book lover, but at least they're going toward art and not in a landfill somewhere. I've gotten some new pens I'll share with you. These are by Sakura. These are white and they're called Jelly Roll. Not yet used this. Excited to use it. And these are my Pit Artist Pins by Faber Castell. These are very good pins. I recommend them to anyone who asks me what pins I like. This set specifically comes in four different tip sizes or nib sizes. And then these are my new Dilutions paint pens. And they're brand new. I just had to get the ink flowing in them. Just to let you know, you will have to shake it up push some of the ink out into the nib. With that, I have some new sprays. These are the colors of the Dilutions ink spray that I have purchased. I am interested in owning every color because I've tried these and they're lots of fun. But right now, I've got red, yellow, purple and turquoise. I've got some watercolors that I'll be using. I've got some stencils. Lots of acrylics. I've got my trusty gel pens here. I 
Off to my side here, I've got a stack of scrapbook pages that I've had for years. In fact, they may have even made an appearance in an old video of mine. I've got a small little water bottle for helping me to blend colors. Comes in handy. And now, let's get started. So, basically, you see, I just put a hodgepodge of as many little art supplies as I could find. And I'm going to go ahead and start now. Now, I want to make a spread today inspired by my idea to begin gardening. I've put it off for years and have finally just gotten the bug and said I'm going to do it started a vegetable garden this weekend. My husband was digging beds for me and building raised beds. And so I've been very inspired by that. In an old Vogue magazine, actually it's not a very old magazine. It's fairly new. I found some inspiring photographs that I can use like this girl. She's got flowers all around. Very beautiful imagery here. I think this will make for a nice two-page spread here. Whatever I don't use goes in my scrap box and I will use it for another project. I think I'd like to start with this image here. start by start by making some lines across my page here
So, I've written a basic entry about my experience and wanting now to make a garden. Take a little bit of water. both sides here. I actually like for it to hang off the page a bit. Paste it down just a tad. after a moment. There we have it. Also, I should note that I've got my tiny little Queen of Serene stamp here. I'm calling this my little journal logo as of late. So, for each page I do,
and put a little stamp of approval on it. needed because waste not, want not don't worry much about getting glue all over things this glue should end up coated on everything anyway and it won't hurt anything if it does I like that this page is very green and verdant. It's kind of the idea behind the garden is this luscious green place outdoors. flowers in my garden. I have not purchased any yet, but I've got my eye out and I know all of you will give me so many inspiring ideas of what I can plant. Whenever I can't figure out quite a direction for things, if I take to you on Instagram or YouTube, you guys always lead me in the right direction and give me so many inspiring ideas. The idea behind this journal is that it should be as very simple and basic as possible. This should be a process and should not be serious. You should definitely not think much while you're doing it and see what ends up on the page. When you overthink it for wanting to make it beautiful, you will sometimes not succeed because you're trying too much and it needs to be about the thoughts you're having and the feelings inspired by it, and not so much about the actual pictures. I've had this tree of life for a while. I think that would be lovely somewhere here. Hmm. is kind of blending up onto it, but that makes me feel like I would like to add some other colors to it. After all, it is the tree of life. I think it's best represented with lots of gorgeous color. So, let me get a little bit of maybe some watercolors. what I have here. Got this green and yellow 
You know, an orange might not be a bad idea. Get some in a little paint well here. Trusty little water sprayer. Do not underestimate the need for the water sprayer. It is very handy. And I'll use the reverse of it here. One thing I didn't mention is to have a nice roll of paper towels on hand. For just this purpose here. So keep little baby wipes on hand, they're perfect. garden variety here. I 
I'm a big fan of Mod Podging the you know what out of it. It's just always worked out well for me to add lots and lots of adhesive. Don't worry if your words are covered. It's actually sometimes therapeutic to completely write out an entire melange of words on the page and then to completely cover it with the thickest layer of dark acrylic paint and only you know what's on the page and that's fine. Now in this instance you can still see what's here but it's okay if it's hidden a bit. I think it might bother you at first but you learn to get over it quickly. I'm going to cut out some individual plants and place them in different places on my page. little tomatoes here. Like Bob Ross would say, this is a happy little tomato. I wonder if Bob Ross ever could have possibly imagined that he would be ushering in a new era as the godfather of ASMR. I bet it was the further, furthest thing from his mind. Let's see. Now, get this carrot and zucchini here. We'll find a nice your fingernails. Your hands are going to be really gross while you do this and afterward, but it's just part of the process, like any art. Got to get used to it.
I don't know. I just want more color. That's what I love about these sprays so much. You can have color all of a sudden. come back to this page and add lots of things to it. I can already see some spaces where I'd like to doodle. I'd like to add my own drawings of vegetables and sometimes what I do and I recommend in that situation is that you get a sketch pad and draw out a crude sketch, just a basic sketch with just some pencils and get your sketch drawn out and then you can cut it out. You can even paint it and cut it out like I've done here. Simply glued it down, just a basic picture. So what I will plan to do here is the same. I'm going to sketch myself some little vegetables and pictures of gardens and I'm going to put my original sketches throughout here and uh, paint them and that way there's a little bit more of my personal signature down on the page and it's not so much uh, you know just magazine cutouts and things like that so my camera battery is dying but this will not be the last that you will see of this journal. I get lots of requests for art journal videos to this very day. So if you're interested, thumbs up this video and that lets me know that you do like to see these and you want to see another page. I have about five or six ideas for some really cool spreads. Whatever inspires me that day, that's what I do. So, like I said, thumbs up the video and I will make you another one and I'll, I've also got a planner video coming you guys wanted to see me put my planner together the little pieces that I purchased so I will be doing that video right after this one first I need to go wash my hands though so I will see you all in the next video I love you have sweet dreams I'll see you next time